Welcome, welcome. What are you doing? Where did you find those keys? I have been looking for them for a long time. Uncle, I found these keys. They sparkle and they look so cool. I also like the look of those doors. I wanted to try and open them, enter the city and see what's inside. Who are you and what is this? My name is Uncle George and this is the city of sacraments and not everyone can enter. Those who enter live as great saints and live with Jesus and all the saints forever. My name is Elizabeth. Why is it called the City of Sacraments? The sacraments in our city does not mean something that no one knows about. It's sacraments about something wonderful. It's like a miracle that happens that we don't see with our eyes. Can anyone know these sacraments? Of course, anyone who believes in Christ can enter the city and experience the sacraments. Do you want to go inside? Yes, uncle, let's go. I'll open the first door. Wait, these doors have an order. The first door is the sacrament of baptism. It is the beginning to all the other sacraments. Without it, we cannot enter any of the other doors or even reach heaven. You know, a long time ago, at the beginning of his service, Jesus Christ himself went and got baptized by Saint John the Baptist. We as the children of God need to get baptized like him. And how exactly do we get baptized? Forty days after the baby boy is born, or 80 days if the baby is a girl. The parents take the baby to church and Abuna puts the cross on the mother's head so she can take communion and prays that God can forgive her. He anoints her with oil called the simple oil. Then Abuna puts the cross on the baby's head so God can protect him from the devil. Then the sponsor looks toward the west to pray the prayer of renouncing Satan. I renounce you, Satan, and all your unclean works, and all your wicked angels, and all your evil demons, and all your power, and all your abominable service, and all your evil cunning and error, and all your army, and all your authority, and the rest of your impieties. I renounce you. I renounce you. I renounce you. What is a sponsor? Sponsors are those who are responsible for the baby, like his mother or father. They will be the one who teaches him all the beautiful things, like verses, hymns, and how to love God and his church forever. The baby gets baptized based on the belief of the sponsor. Because the baby is still too young and does not understand anything yet, so the sponsors are the ones that pray the prayer of renouncing Satan. All those who attend can also say the prayer of renouncing Satan. This means all those who pray it are rejecting Satan and will never follow him. After they look towards the east, as if they are looking at Christ and heaven, they are declaring their faith in Christ. I believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, and the resurrection of the flesh, and the one only Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Amen. What is Abuna doing here? Abuna is praying on the baptismal font to sanctify it. It's like a whole liturgy for the water. He also puts the holy myrun oil inside of the water, so the water also gets sanctified by the Holy Spirit. After Abuna takes the baby and immerses him in the baptismal font three times, just as Jesus said, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
Then when the baby gets out of the water, Abuna anoints the baby with the holy Myron oil 36 times over their whole body. Did we finish, Uncle George? No, 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 my daughter. Abuna still has to dress the baby in a beautiful white garment, so the baby would look so beautiful and everyone will know that he is now like an angel without sin, not even the original sin of Adam. Abuna then puts a red ribbon around the baby to remind us that this beautiful garment's first foundation was the blood of Jesus Christ. After all of this, I'm sure the baby needs to sleep. Now the baby is Christian and is a child of God. This means he can receive the Holy Communion after the baptism. They attend the Holy Liturgy and partake of the Holy Communion. At the end of the liturgy, all of the people are really happy because the baby is now a child of God. Then they make a procession for the baby in the church and say to him, worthy in Coptic, Aksayos for a boy or Aksaya for a girl. I have a question, Uncle George. Aren't there saints who did not get baptized? How did they reach heaven? This is a great question. They didn't get baptized like us. However, they believed in our Lord Jesus Christ and they got baptized through a baptism called the baptism of blood. It means that they actually died with Jesus Christ and they got baptized by their own blood. Okay, but aren't you going to tell me about the sacraments of the Holy Eucharist and the Myron? No, you will know about them through the next door. Now, my friends, let's learn together today's verse. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19.